Welcome back to the Stan Simpson Show. There's a big networking event for movie industry professionals next week here in Hartford. Here to tell us more about it, Joe Young, producer, director, cartoonist, yeah. Young Studios, Neil Thomason, the founder of the program, the film industry mixture, fix, fifth year now going on in the capital city. Tell us about this. Well, the film industry mixer brings together hundreds of writers, producers, directors, actors, grips, gaffers, makeup artists. Gaffers or the gaffers? Gaffers, that's a uh, person that helps out in lighting. Okay. So all it's right. pretty much anything that would be associated with making a film. We bring all these people together to network and build relationships because it takes a full team to make a film. And at our event, we basically showcase the resources that are in Connecticut, the people that are the driving force behind a film, like your above-the-line talent, such as writers, product producers, mm -hmm. directors. So anyone who wants to break into the industry or want to elevate their game should check this out, right? Yes. Now, this is a very important part. Connecticut now is trying to raise its profile from an entertainment standpoint. Mm -hmm. You have the film credit now where you can come in here and get tax credit to produce films. Joe Young, how is this working out for the industry? And is Connecticut now having its profile raised as an entertainment destination point for directors? Oh, I, I believe so. And uh, directly, I've been you know, touched by the state and the credits. We have our tax credit notification for the film I'm doing, Diamond Rough. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just an incredible thing. And it's a great time to be a filmmaker in Connecticut. Diamond Rough, starring Michael Jai White, yes, who was a guest right. on the show here a few months yes, back. That's now, right. Where are you now with that movie? He's, uh, uh, he'll be the star. You're going to have local talent here here, local people helping out. Where are you now with the production? We're, we're in pre-production. We just brought on Greg White. He uh, is a former director from Law & Order. He's part of it. So we're just putting it together. Mike is directing a film for Sony right now. And so in a month and a half or so, we should be shooting, man. And I'm just excited Big about the whole process. Yep. What do you look for? What are producers, directors, writers, when they look for a destination, what elements are they looking for? Is it simply just a tax credit or are there certain logistic things you need to make it work for you? Well, I know the tax credits are drawing movies in. Um, but is there sort of a, you know, landscape scenario? Oh, that, yeah, I mean, could you put a movie situation in any city as long as, the, as long as you have land, or do you need a certain topography to make well, it Well, it's a, com it's a combination of things. And, again, you know, there's studios that are Sets, springing right, up through Connecticut right. uh, with Diamond Rough. We'll probably be working with Windsor, the studio opening up in uh, Windsor Worldwide Studios. And, and so when you have those sets, you can do anything. Right. But uh, it's still we have a great landscape in Hartford and Connecticut to do anything. Indoor scenes, outdoor scenes. Yeah, I forgot. Right. With, with, with studios. You'll need an outdoor scene, really. You can have studios and just make it work, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know a lot of people, it depends on the budget. Um, I just was executive producer of London Betty, mm -hmm. and we shot that all on location throughout Where? most Where? of central Connecticut, mm -hmm. Southington, Plainville, New Britain. And we use a lot of existing locations, like bars, um, uh, different businesses. We did a, a news scene uh, at a local uh, Plainville register. Um, so, yeah, people... You know, it depends on their budget. Yeah. Does it really raise the cachet for a state to have movies here? Because there's some people who say they beg to differ. Say, you know what? Is it really bringing in money? Are people going to go out to shop? Are they oh, pay for nothing? What does it really do when I mean, you bring in jobs, movies here? I mean, tourism, restaurants, uh, everything. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. What can folks expect next week when you have this event? It's going to be hosted oh, at the uh, young City, City Steam and, and yeah. Young Studios mm -hmm. on Main Street. What can they expect to see when they go to an event? I know there's a fashion show you guys had you know, last year. It's like Walk a, us through it. It's sort of like a Super Bowl of production. Mm -hmm. We have three multi-camera productions going on all at once for four hours straight in three different rooms. Uh, one of our panels that attracts most people is our Movers and Shakers panel. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Hollywood producer coming, Larry Maestrich. He produced Strangeland, D. Snyder's movie, and uh, Sling Blade, just to name a few of them. Mm -hmm. um, Senator Gary LeBeau is going to be there. And we have a distributor, uh, distributor this year. Um, so when people do make their movies, it's a way to get them distributed. So it's a chance to meet these people face to face. It's about network, right? Bottom line, yes. people have ideas, right? Everyone has an idea for a script, a book, a movie, don't know how to go about connecting. Here's a chance now to connect with those folks who are in the industry. Yeah, even if you're up and coming, you know, we, we have uh, uh, Reno Ventura from the Actors Gym. We, you know, we have uh, Tommy. He's going to be there from World uh, Wide Studios, the big studio. In so it's just going to be a great networking, writers, producers actors, Greg White, former director of uh, Law & Order, he'll be there. Okay. Those caliber folks. Is it emerging sort of talent base here in Connecticut or even a studio where young talent is going that's sort of the incubator? Anything you see that looks promising? 
Well, there's always been a lot of talent in Connecticut. I think the mm -hmm. problem was that they've always left to go to New York or California. Um, but by doing these events, it brings people together. And it's about creating relationships. And, I mean, I have this thing saying, like, 10 years from now, I'm going to be somewhere is because I've built up relationships with people, like people like Joe. Mm -hmm. And over time, they get better and better because they're working at their craft. And eventually, we're going to be in a position that we're going to have movies and blockbuster video and, and distri distribution on their films. Mm -hmm. Now, how difficult, the whole filmmaking market, and you've been at it for a while now, mm -hmm. Joe, how difficult is it? You have a book out, the Diamond Rubber mm -hmm. book, you're trying mm -hmm. to turn into mm -hmm. a movie. Mm -hmm. Easy to say, tough to do. Walk us through the process of going from writing a book to then finding the connection to doing a movie on this in about 30 seconds. It, it's, it's really difficult, but like Neil said, it's about relationships. You know, it's, it's simply about relationships and being tenacious, working hard, and you've got a certain amount of timing and, and luck. But it, it's all possible. But you increase the luck by meeting different people. How but about it's the possible. Money? How about the money issue? That is the that most, that's the, that's the money, most right? to me, that's the most <laughs> Where's the money coming out? How's that going? A tough economy? How do you convince a bank or investors to put up money to, to, to back you? Cause you well, the, the, the money hasn't left the planet. Right. So it's a matter of trying to convince. It's all about sales, right. selling somebody what you're doing to give up the money. And, and having a track record, right? having that big blockbuster where they say, you know what, we'll take a chance on Joe Young because right. he made money. Yeah, you got to put it in the can these days, too. It's definitely a track record. I, I tell that to a lot of people. And that's why you start off small. You make your short film, move on to another one. Then you start taking these and you ship them around saying, this is what I've done, this is what I'm capable of doing. And usually every time you do a new project, you should be getting better and better at it to the point where people see your talent and they want to throw you some money. All right, so the bottom line is next week they want to come out and network and rub some elbows. And, and meet financiers and, and okay. everything else. Come on out next week to the Mixer uh, website they can check out or a phone number real quick. It's a filmindustrymixer.com. All right, folks, when we come back, we'll have a visit with Congressman John Larson and talk about the half billion dollars that Connecticut is expecting to build a rail system connecting New Haven to Springfield. Do not go away.